Hello and welcome back to Green Skies 2. I haven't done anything, I've just came back into the world and I'm going to finish chopping the rest of this tree down. So we've got the string that we need. So we're going to have a wee look at our quest book. And we have... Oh yeah, we, we made the hatchet too quick, so that's a problem. We just have to make another flint axe head, but that's good because eventually tools run out of durability and there isn't really a good replacement for tools for a while. So you've got the option of milk bottles or eggs. I'm going to go with milk bottles because you can get eggs a lot easier earlier on, but you can't, it's harder for milk bottles. So, we're going to, oh, let's do far back. While doing this we've completed a lot of quests. So we've got, we have to make a cook, then make, get a silk one then get a bit of string, so I've been able to do that. So I'm going to pick sugarcane seeds. Then I've made the barrels already, for that you had to make, and then you had to make one bit of cobblestone, so I get a rainmaker and a spawn pig egg. Now you do not want, you do not want to use your eggs, because the animals are hostile and they will kill you. So, yeah, not good. Then we have to make the sieve and then the minister stones, which we managed. So I'm going to get this pick instead of the pick I got previously because this one has a much better uh, rod, which is made out of manulin, which is one of the most durable items in the game. So that's good. So now we're at a crossroads where we can go fishing. But however, unlike other ones, we didn't get fish. We didn't get a pond to start with, unlike certain ones. So what I'm going to try and do is if I can st right now get enough stone to make a slab furnace. Now, you do not want to make a normal furnace because a normal furnace will give you... Oh, and we managed to pick up one of the seeds. Got our inventory so as well as a rubber tree seed. That is extremely useful. I'm glad that we got that. So we're going to put this in here and then make a bit of a chest because our inventory is a bit clogged. So we're going to make a the chest there. We're going to pick this up. We're going to put a lot of the stuff that we don't need currently, like the sugarcane seeds. Oh, well, we managed to get another sugarcane seed as well. So that's good. We've got some grass seeds, which are useful. Some silkworms, these spruce, this stone I will need. One of the quest books and these materials and new books is just what you get by uh, by upgrading your tinkers, etc. So I'll put that away as well and that and that and that. So I've only got one duck left, but don't worry, we can always keep on using the uh, oak saplings to get a bit of dirt. Concept. We can always do that. So we're gonna get these, put them in a pattern, and we've got six cobble. So we're going to put the cobble, instead of doing it in a normal, we're going to make cobble slabs. Make the cobble slabs around like this, and around. There we go. So we made a slab for slab farmers. There isn't a quest for this at the moment, but there will be later on. And we also get a reward bag, another area of the hardcore questing mode that is very useful. The hardcore questing mode also gives you reward bags for every quest you complete. For example, this one is a basic. The more harder the world, the more harder quests you get, you get better reward bags. Like I think you get good, uh, legendary, epic, etc. Once you get into the end game stuff. So this one's just the basics. So we'll see what we get. It's a Morve decor of the award, and it's just a bunch of color glowstone. But that's good because that means we, that's light. So we'll take, hmm, we'll take purple because I like purple. So, we'll put that in the middle, in between these two trees, and I'll maybe make it glow a bit better at light time. That'll cover most of the area. Now, this is a handy wee trick you can use. F7. F7 will make it so you will be able to see where the light is. Okay, I'm back. Um, I'm just going to chop this tree down. And I know I've got that um, tool station up there. I completely forgot about it when I was chopping the big tree down uh, last time. So I was like, um, well I need to go get it now because I'm a bit OCD about that. I also don't know why the this, I think it was because it was slightly too close 
to where that was. Oh, and I've landed it, so I've got a spare one. That's fine. So, I've got that five clay bucket. So, I've got able to claim that reward, eight clay, and open up this entirely complete different quest line. I will be able to throw this down. This is why, if you follow the steps I've just taken, you can get all of these rather quickly. So, if I get, I need to make them again, but that's fine. This accuracy can let quest, I will not be able to do it anywhere near at the moment. This I won't be able to do at all either. Um, these crops, so I need to make these crops because this uh, pack has a mod called AgriCraft installed, and AgriCraft completely changes the way that uh, uh, farming happens in the game, like completely. So I'm gonna because you can make your own flint map up, which I might make later on. So I'm gonna pick those potato seeds. And I am going to also this mossy repair. So I think that my next goal is to sieve up the gravel, the sand, and the dust I got. I got before. So I'm going to put the stuff I don't need in here because you can fill your inventory up really quickly when you're doing quests. And I'm going to uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to sift this dust and see what I get from it. So I'm going to sift the sand, and I keep sifting, sifting, once it is like, if it goes empty it automatically appears in the, uh, in the sieve which is quite cool, I find that pretty cool, so uh, we've got 3 aluminum, 2 crushed, 3 aluminum, 3 aluminium, depends where you are, uh, cactus and a quartz, quartz is quite good, so uh, so it's that cactus, so that's pretty, I'm happy with that. So we get the dust here. I'm hoping for a bit of redstone, but not necessarily. We'll, uh, we'll be able to sort this a lot later on when we've got different dusts available. But this is just the basics and the starters of it. So I've got that time, so it's got dust, copper ore, aluminium ore, and sky stone dust. I've also got four gravel. I'm going to sift, see what I get from this. Uh, gravel gives you, there's an interesting process, I don't know if I'll be able to get four of one thing, but if I do, I'll show you how you get it. So, here you go, I get broken, broken tin, broken iron, broken gold, and this pan, and broken nickel. I also got, so, and I also got two bits of flint and a bit of coal. So that's the different types of drops you get from, uh, I'm going to harvest a lot more trees and come back when I have enough to uh, make a bucket of lava, which I will show you how in the next in the pre in the next bit. Okay, see you there. Luckily, there isn't any at the moment because we've I've put all these slabs on the bottom, and this is being lit up lit up by all of these. But these tinker tables could, if I went too far away, maybe even all the way over here. And further, actually, if I went further and built the platform further out here, they would turn red. And when they turn red, that means that it's able for mobs to spawn, and that's when you need to start to worry. So, however, we don't need to worry about that because we've made most of it uh, in the slabs where it's unspawnable. So I'm going to put that there, and then I'm probably going to make this a double chest. So I'm going to craft another chest, and then. The next goal I want to complete is, well let's take a look at the quest book. I'm going to eat an apple, because I always want to keep on top of my hunger. So this is basically the easiest way to do it. And I'm going to look at my quest book. I can't do the fishing thing at the moment, unfortunately, just because of the fact I don't have. But to sing in the rain, I need to be able to get clay. Now to get clay, I... To make a smeltery, I need to get clay, and, the cl and to make the smeltery, the smeltery is probably one of the most important things that you will need in the game. It basically doubles your ores from the slab furnace that we have now. So it's good that we have this slab furnace, but give it a bit, and we won't need it because we've got the smeltery, which will be able to double our ores. How do you get those? You ask. Well, you've got to make a hammer. To make a hammer, I've got to get this. 
So we have to take this and then take this here, this, and then in. I need to make a couple more sticks and a shape like that. And bam, you have a hammer. A hammer is useful for many reasons. Mainly, I'm going to maybe, I'm going to try, no promises here, but I'm going to try and make, oh, I've got another bit of dirt anyway. Oh, here we go. There's this dirt. So, I'm going to try and get four in this one, but if we don't get four, we've got a spare one. Oh, there you go, there we go. So, I'm going to make this, and I've got this cobble. Now, I've got this cobble here, it's great, but I can also get the cobble and smash it. When I smash it, I turn it into gravel, which is what the quest wants me to do. I need to now make it to sand, which is how I do it. Again, I get the wooden hammer, turn it into sand, and then I get the sand and turn it into dust. I'm sure if you play Crash Landing, you're familiar with dust. So that's that reward, and we can get all these. And I can pick between clay and a rainmaker, and I'm going to pick clay because it's harder for me to get it with the water, with the water situation that I have in this island. Basically, I can now manually detect this clay. So if I go throw the clay in the ground, pick it back up again, this could work. It might not work. There you go. So I can either make it porcelain clay or a bone. I'm going to make. I'm going to pick porcelain clay. There you go. So now I need to make a fire clay bucket, and I make a fiery bucket. Uh, bucket, excuse me, by uh, getting this clay, smashing it up, getting it into four wee balls, and just exactly like you would make a normal bucket instead of clay. Bam, bam, bam. However, that won't do you any good. You actually need to fire it so that you'll be able to actually put any liquid in it. So I'm just going to use a bit of wood because I hate it when people put oak wood in it because it's so inefficient. I'm really sorry if you put oak wood in it, but it's just ridiculously inefficient, so fire clay bucket uh, and I'll be back in a minute okay so finally we have the four cobble that's required so if I can get the porcelain oh, clay, there it is, I couldn't find it there um, and simply like a buck a cauldron and if I crucible. Now I want to see if this will work, I'm pretty sure it will. Will that give it a no. Oh well, I will need to do the old fashioned way. I will need to fire this up first, maybe that will explain it. This is the reason one of the main reasons why I wanted to get that thing set up first, but I always use wood because it's a lot more efficient. Okay, and we'll just wait for that. I got Cactus seeds, pota two potato seeds now, so that's good. Lettuce seed, two, three seeds, two grass seeds, and I got an extra stone, so that can be used at a point. Plus, got pumpkin seeds, that's good. Sugarcane seeds and a rubber tree seed, that'll come in handy. So, this has been done. Crystal. Now, I wonder if I'll be able to see it now that I've got that. Yeah. No. It doesn't have any milk speed. Just double checking. I'm going to eat. And while that's going on, I think I'm going to place my rainmaker down for my barrel so I can get some water because I need to use it for the next one. But I also need to use this clay that I originally got. So, yep. Yep. Oh, there we go. Good. Good. There we go. Oh. We're going on the other side. For this one. Oh, I don't even know. There we go. Got all of them. That's okay. And now I can make the wood planks and put it around here because this is the only surface that is non-flammable on the island and you know lava can light things on fire so I'm going to try and not put things on fire for as much as possible and see if that works 
So this, I've got the crucible in my hand. I also got a bit of coal earlier on, which I'm going to use for a torch. A torch will only give you a modifier of one. So I'm going to place the crucible here. Well, a torch fan of that. Let's see. Okay, so you will definitely need to put the torch first and then the crucible. It'll be kind of annoying because you won't be able to see how much is lit up. I'll use that for the moment then. No, I won't. That's stupid. Um, let's just put a bit there and then a torch on that. And then, so a torch. There you go. Metal speed of one, so I'm going to put my four cobble in there. It's 99, starts to low down, so I'm going to take a look at quests. There we go. And Skybot, 21% complete. So this is, I've already handed this in, so we need to make seven porcelain clay to the add on of the three clay I've already got. So, well, later on, I will need to make more so. Why not? And you can use this cool trick with, I think it's with any eye where you scroll up in your mouse and put it somewhere else and scroll down to put it back. Or you can just use right click normally to make the, if you were going to do normal porcelain clay. But I want to do this here and then got seven, so seven porcelain clay. So that will give us this, which means we need to make the lava clay bucket, which I'm going to do. But first, I need to make water, so what I'm going to do is put it at the other end of this island, because this will explode. We make a move, because it will explode. Da -da -da. And all of a sudden, let there be. There we go, rain. See what I mean? It blew up. You don't want to be anywhere near it as a tip. So we've got this lava going, and now it's raining. So these barrels are now filling up with water. This is good. So then I'm going to place an area for infinite water source. So I'm going to start using actual blocks now. Oh, I've disconnected. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll make this into some slab, but that's just to put it on top of an all. I'm just going to make a wee infinite pool over here. And if I use that as a bobber. I'm wondering will that seep out? Don't even know. Let's make them into slabs again. This will be so I won't ever need to use the rainmaker again. I will I'll have continuous um I think I need more. I don't know what I'm doing. There you go. I'll make two more. That, that should be plenty. I'll make this here, up, again, and then here, and here, sorted. Now the thing with the clay bucket is I would definitely recommend using the water first, because, there you go, there's one, oh, ah, that would be a problem. It appears that when you use Slabs. So let's make this the bottom little full box. At least I got a lot of wood. See what I mean about the handy use there? Thing is that I'm with the pan, I won't need to fight mobs anytime soon. So full block. 
there and there and there and there which means up again up again up again and then and then underneath there we go and we step and stone up water in there sometimes it's good to have slabs sometimes it's a bit of a nuisance if you want to be really like precautious like me and just so we now have unlimited water so I'm going to start building this cobble gen. So the way I like my cobble gen is pretty simple. You have, I'll use this here, so we'll see, we'll put the water here. So the water will go, in fact, let me put this crafting station down over here. Because I pulled the one up from over here, so I've got an extra. So, say I want to I was to put my water here, the water would go two directions, it would go there and there, so and that would be cut off. And there, and that will fall off. So the water would go two directions towards the nearest float there and here. So I want to put that block where I just placed is going to be. The hole. So that's a hole. So the water is there. So that means water there, water there. So if I was to, I'm not going to do it right now. But I'm going to put the clay. Oh, there's an axe. Because it used to be like that. Clay there. Clay. I did it again. Clear there, clear there. In fact, that wouldn't work because it's higher. Clear there. And then, in fact, let me come back in a minute where I know what I'm going to do with what with the actual. Hello! I think I am ready for this, so what I am ready is water there, water will flow to these two outputs, and I will place the lava on that one. So, lava bucket. First of all, I'm going to hand this quest in to aluminum brass. So, which means all these are available. So, what I do now is this and here. Hooray! Cobble gin! Woo! Well, I think that's going to be it for today, but what what my goals for tomorrow are going for next time is going to be are um, get an automatic one, get an automatic cobble gin, well, semi automatic with this, this stone miner here and to start the beginnings of a smelty. So join me next time and I will see you then. Goodbye.